Hey YouTube, how's it going? We're here. We're back with Holding Me and the Missing Pieces, episode 12. Really quick, if you could like the video for me, please, I greatly appreciate it. Now, said I'd get episode 12 to you on Sunday. Here it is. It's Sunday, episode 12. Just got finished watching episode 11. Um, really good episode. I really liked it. Our Valentine's Day episode. Um, I just like the different focus. But I think what I liked the most of that episode was Sawada. Just her, her character how and it was like initial starting off this girl comes up to her like hey you're friends with the third years and her kind of being like Ugh. like are we gonna touch back what happened a few episodes ago and then she keeps talking and she's just like hmm, okay maybe i'll lend my ear and just that one little interaction that one moment and her being i'll listen to you ends up turning into an actual friendship that she can have i really like that so let's hop in let's see what episode 12 has in store for us Episode 12, we're going to get started in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Who's this? Oh, flashback! Is he hiding his, is he hiding his motorcycle back here? <laughs> I that's right he did his her mom is older he's gonna listen to her and move his bike Yeah, he listened to her, moved his bike, and got caught. Wow. What'd he do? What did he do to get slapped, though? <laughs> okay. How much his hair not being over his eyes does wonders. This man has the same voice as a child. <laughs> Don't dismiss what I said before, right? Okay. All right. Look at that. Did he button his? He didn't. Okay. She's the relaxed version of Hori. So if I'm not like, if I'm remembering correctly, they ended up together. They had Hori really young. And then he ended up getting a job, right? Like he had to like start working to provide for the family and whatnot.
again, pressed. Who is this? Like, who are you? What the hell is going on? Yeah, I was gonna be like, he's, he's gonna go too far. Damn. Oh, snap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's when I knew she was the one. Is this after his face is stinging after she slapped him? I don't remember. So th is this after the slap from two episodes ago? Cause she, because she did slap him. And then they were like fighting back and forth. <laughs> I'm wondering if it if this is the conversation he had after that. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> funny <laughs> don't give in don't give in <laughs> oh that was funny oh my gosh ah my sides hurt that was funny oh gosh that was funny don't give in don't give in hang in there Oh boy. Oh, that was great. Uh. <sighs> All right. What are we getting into? Are we going to follow the rest of their life up to this point? I'd like to. Solta! Is it a stuffed animal or is it a real cat? Oh gosh. <laughs> You did not look at this little boy that's this big and deem you could put his clothes on. Oh, no, that was the wrong thing to say. Don't, don't stretch his clothes out. Don't stretch his clothes out. Don't stretch my boy's clothes out. I don't know what HFW is either. Oh, Hori Fashion Week. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> They're like two peas in a pod. <laughs> I didn't get there so fast. <laughs> you did too. <laughs> <sighs> what part of the cow is flat meat? How much mochi do you have to eat to gain to gain weight? A vicious beast. <laughs> Dude, they're idiots. They are all drill bits. They are drill bits. Their house is chaos. <laughs> Take me back to the flashback. I want to go back. He's home a lot more now. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. You going overboard. Good question. Oh, boy. Is it a good question? Yeah. He's trying not to incur the wrath of the devil. <laughs> What's going on in her head? I would like to know. Okay.
We're going to build a villa on the moon? Why did you do that? <laughs> oh gosh. She's she's terrorizing him. <laughs> oh my gosh. So <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Save my life. I save my own life. Oh gosh. His anime backstory. <laughs> I don't think you trust anyone, yeah, you, you evil captain. <laughs> Damn, he he he, he whacked the hell out. <laughs> now it see now it's not a game anymore. <laughs> she he whacked the he whacked the heck out of her. Oh my gosh, swack. <laughs> oh. Zelda, ride! Such an interesting dynamic. Tells him his homework answers. <laughs> but we won't, won't let him grow up. Thinking he... Can, <laughs> ah. <clears throat> really? Miyamura Izzy. Yeah, he couldn't write his name. Not them laughing at him. <laughs> Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna? Oh, is he gonna make a mess? Okay, Sota. just wanted to help so I just wanted to help hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah. Gosh. It's just tone. It's the way you speak. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> now he's just like, now I made her cry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh man. Tone and the way you speak to someone is massive. You are not. It's massive. It's super important. Don't take this as always. Yeah, that's just. Dude, tone is it's ma tone is massive. She she likes that. Oh man. After credit scene? Can I hope for another one? It's the, oh looks like there is one. That's two episodes in a row. But tone is huge. Don't let anyone tell you that tone is not huge. You could say the the perfect thing, but if you don't say it in a way that is gonna get through to an individual. It's not going to do a bit of damn good. Now, this isn't me sitting here being you need to be syrupy sweet to everybody because that's sometimes you need to be harsh with people. Sometimes you need to be frank with people. You cannot just coddle someone all the time. If someone needs like tough love, if someone needs the no and this is how it's going to be, then you need to give that to them whether they want to hear it or not. But I'm going to go back because I said I wanted to do that. But um, sometimes that's not like that's not always the way to talk to someone. Yelling or being stern or being strict isn't always the right way to say something. Sometimes you need to be gentle. Sometimes you need to take extra time in trying to talk to someone because it's just not the design thing. So it's like what Hori was saying. Absolutely right. Like so to your kid, there could be knives in the sink. Um, you could go in there and you can accidentally cut yourself. Hold on, let me keep going. What did he write? Ah. <laughs> something about my family <laughs> and it's about Mia that's funny ah but um what was I saying I want to take this off I want to go back and look at the ending but um what was I in the middle of saying gosh oh what Hori was saying like Hori is right like so does a, he's a kid so does what if he's in the first grade he's six Right, because you're in pre-K four, you're in kindergarten fifth. He's like he's in, he's six years old. Um, it's like yeah, there could be a knife in the sink. You could just reach your hand in there. You're trying to wash the dishes and you cut yourself. We don't want you to cut yourself. I don't want you to get hurt. But just walking by and be like, hey, no, I told you, like that's not what you needed to hear. Right, that's that's discouraging. All 
like it's i think that's not the same as like a stove being hot and you tell someone not to touch the stove and then they want to touch the stove anyways and they get burnt it's like yeah now i'm gonna yell at you because you dumb dumb I, you know you know what hot is i told you not to touch it because it's hot now you ha it's like you have to get burned for you to know no then that's a little bit more stern but for him it's just like you could just be like hey sota remember what i told you before and it can be like yeah i remember next time ask someone in the house if you want to wash the dishes we can come here and we can stand here like have you ever done the dishes by yourself no so don't don't just hop into trying to do it by yourself if you've always helped out you it's so many different ways you could say that and that might have proved to be a better thing because when sota walked by the dishes you clearly when he remembered washing the dishes with mom so now if she says something constructive that's not like abrasive he could now whenever he walks past the sink again think back oh yeah hori said not to wash the dishes without anybody being there because all all sota thought it's the same thing what i was saying um i think at the end of last ep the last episode like whenever i was talking about how things just don't cross your mind sometimes it could be common sense but for whatever reason you didn't think of it or it should be common and for sota he walks past the singing he's like i did this before granted mom was there but i did this before so now when he's walking by he can just think i've done this before i can do it again by myself and it's just like no you're still a little bit too young to do it by yourself necessarily someone still needs to be there so it's just now he can instead of him reflecting on i washed the dishes before he can be like oh yeah hori said not to do it because it could be dangerous okay cool and then he can reflect back on that so maybe the next time he's walking by the, the sink and he sees it full of dishes instead of him defaulting the washing the dishes with mom he can default to oh yeah Hori said that and be like hey Hori, um i want to wash the dishes can i wash the dishes and then maybe she's like no i'll get up and i'll go wash them or maybe she's like all right cool and she might get up and follow him behind him so it's just it's just in how you speak i think that was a good example of it she had the right she had the right intention but just how she says it and that's just how she talks so that just has to come down to her being aware of how she talks and being able to change it so i like that good episode now really quick go back i want to go back to the ed and see what she's typing on the keyboard go back go back all right so so she's she hops on it once two three four that's s s a d what does pound do again s a d she jumped on pound twice s a d c o that could be japanese so i have no idea i'm going off of english letters <laughs> right that could be totally ja this could be japanese characters so i have no idea but if it's the alphabet you would think it's you see no it's it's japanese characters i have no idea what she's typing i'm going off of how i know a uh, um qwerty is that how you say that a qwerty keyboard is so i have no idea Back. is it a qwerty keyboard no that's black box whatever numerical um phone pad I have no idea what she would she s a d that doesn't make any sense but the japanese letters probably do um all right <laughs> leave that there um good episode though um one thing um whenever i think i do it too and i have to like whenever i think about it i have to like backtrack it it's easy to just jump on hori's case right it's super easy to just jump on her case whenever she does something but um one thing that you have to take into account one thing that i have to take into account is home dynamic what is her family life like and we know enough about it to know that she does not come from a conventional family she has um relatively young parents that's one dad is away from home for work a lot of the time mom works a lot so hori doesn't really have i don't want to say good parents because that is 100 percent wrong she has hard working parents 
but she doesn't necessarily have the parental figure that's always going to be there so hori hori's probably spent a lot of time raising herself so to speak but she spent a lot of time raising her little brother too it's a lot of things that i don't know what it's called i forgot the term that it's called but if you're a sibling you probably know of it but usually if um if there's a family that has multiple children the oldest daughter usually has this thing where it's like in a lot of families the oldest daughter is usually the second mom the oldest daughter usually takes care of her younger siblings whether that be making sure they get ready for school making sure they're doing things cooking possibly cleaning possibly just depending on how the family dynamic is but usually that's what happens um so she definitely has that we know that a lot of her like after school life is sota based like she does a lot of it she shops she goes grocery shopping she cooks she makes sure that he's all set she does a lot so all of these factors and what she does and all these things they play into what her personality is like and how ex like and, pl and plus her parents both are i don't her mom's not a hothead but her mom's feisty her dad definitely was a hothead so it's like it's like that stuff's gonna bleed through and come through as well so it's like it's easy to just jump on her case and be like ah but you gotta pull back like, i gotta think about her home life and how every all that is and being with Mia, how maybe um it could change, possibly, or or adapt in a way. Same thing with how Miyamoto was, how he was a certain way, and through the friends and through being around her family and being around her, how he's slowly changed. Even though back here, it still pops up from time to time. So it's the same thing. But um, I like I like these two episodes, eleven and twelve. I really did. I like this episode. I just it's hilarious <laughs> that sota would go <laughs> that sota would write something about miyamura as his big brother turn it in <laughs> and get praise for it that's funny that's really funny but i'm gonna call it i'm gonna call it here thank you guys i appreciate you i'm trying i'm gonna do my damnedest to be here for episode 13 the last episode of what Mia pieces next saturday so thank you guys again I appreciate you again and hopefully god willing i see you next saturday for the last episode of 40 million pieces have a good one and until next time peace out